you know what that means. You have a strong immune system and you keep your mental fortitude strong, you'll be fine. And guess what, guys? He had just mild symptoms for two days and he recovered quickly more than his other uh, sports mates that had COVID-19. So I just wanna let you know that a strong immune system is uh, protection for us. So that was just to finish up the story about David and just let you know that nutrition is really, really powerful and uh, just uh, keep doing what you can do for yourself. And to add on that, the statistics we have here, and I keep saying them every time we end the meeting because they mean so much uh, more than anything. So we know we can actually, even if there's medical history in your family, cancer, heart problems, you can reduce the chance of getting those illnesses if you flood your body with good nutrition. The National Cancer Institute recommends seven to 13 servings per day of raw fruits and vegetables that will help to prevent uh, lung, breast, colon, and prostate cancer by 50%, guys. And the American Heart Association also recommends the same to prevent heart disease and stroke. And the US government that has spent billions of dollars trying to find keyword for chronic illnesses, guess what they have found? There's really no keyword. It's band-aid over what's happening. Mm -hmm. So what is supposed, what they said is prevention is better than keyword. And so we're here tonight to share, you know, the simple ways that we have found out that I've been able to be a blessing uh, in our families. So guys, you're in for a trip tonight. Without further ado, I am just going to introduce my friend and my sideline buddy, Michelle Fletcher. Oh my goodness. Um, the beautiful thing with this company is it's been a community. To me, it's my tribe. It's been a family indeed, because I have met Michelle a couple of times at conference, but I feel like she's a long time sister of mine. I can call her for anything and look at it. She's here today to be a blessing to us. So let me share a little bit about Michelle. She is originally from England, but she's resided in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for the past 34 years. She, has a success, she had a successful corporate career for over 10 years in information technology, but she chose to pivot into this arena in 2008 when she lost her job during recession. The beauty of having a second stream of income, more than one stream of income goes a long way. She partnered with the Juice Plus company in 2011 and has been living and sharing her passion for nutrition and exercise. She's a certified health coach and is passionate about sharing what she knows. She's a mother, a wife of two beautiful children. She's a leader, a mentor, public speaker for the community as a health advocate. And she has a passion for helping to develop more people, especially women, into leaders. Without further ado, Michelle, take it away, beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. It's so funny hearing, you know, all the things that you've done and hearing someone else say it. It's just like, wow, okay. But thank you so much, Josephine, for that introduction. And I always love to hear your story about your son because it is so incredible. Like it is amazing. And then now you're adding on to that story with what's happening right now, the relevancy of this pandemic and how it's affected him. And he was your child that you were so worried about with his health. And now he has just gotten to that point where the nutrition that he's feeding his body, his body has that layer of protection and that's what we want for everyone. That is just so beautiful. So thank you for sharing that. <laughs> thank you, Michelle. Before you tell us your healthy journey, I know you are a certified lean coach. Some of us, you know, I had to Google it. I'm like, who, what's, what do lean coaches do? Can you <laughs> just tell us a little bit about what lean coaching is? Yes. Yeah, so um, I have a certification in um, lean health coaching. And so lean stands for lifestyle, exercise, attitude, and nutrition. And so those are the foundational components we need to get to a better level of health. 
you can't just do one singular thing, even though you can do one singular thing and then build upon it. But we realized that when you are doing one thing, then once you kind of, um, once you navigate that one thing, a lot of times you want to move on to the next step. So we realize it has to be a lifestyle. You want to include exercise because everyone needs to get their body moving. You have to have the right attitude where, you know, you're releasing stress and so many other things that can cause damage unknowingly to our bodies. And then nutrition plays such a huge role too, like looking at what's on your plate. And I think a lot of times that we say you have to eat healthier, but that's subjective for a lot of people. A lot of people don't understand what healthy eating is and they don't understand how important plant-based food is. So that's where I come in and I just educate and guide people and give them tools and examples of how they can do that. Thanks for sharing that, Michelle. You know what comes to my mind is when I talk to a lot of children, they're like, well, I eat French fries. Doesn't that count as a vegetable? But you know, here you're breaking it down. So go ahead and share with us your health journey and how you've been in the Juice Plus and what that has done for your family and as a business. How is that? Just, just, just go ahead and share that. Okay, so I'll try and keep it really short. But you know, I've always grown up as as someone that I feel like has been more health conscious, one, because my parents are Caribbean. <laughs> so you grow up in a Caribbean household and, you know, old school Caribbean, or you just, I think old school, anyone has more of a traditional method of doing things. So they remember when they were eating from the land, you know, back from where they were from, they would pick the vegetables and the fruit right from the trees, or they were growing their own food. So my dad moved to England back in the 60s. I was born in the 70s. And, you know, then we moved to the United States in the 80s. But you could see the transition of that lifestyle. It, thank God I grew up in a Caribbean household where it was kind of embedded in me. And my dad used to farm back in Jamaica and my family that's still there. They grow crops. So, you know, I have that background of what real food is. But despite all of this, moving to the States and, um, you know, it's a different lifestyle. When you're in the Caribbean or you're in England, you do a lot more walking. You usually eat a lot better because the food that you're receiving is a lot of times locally grown or a lot of times, even in England, they grow their own food in their backyard because, you know, certain things grow really well in the winter. So, um, you know, you just kind of have that mentality. But then when we moved to the United States, started to see a lot more health issues in my, in my family, like with my aunts, my uncles, and then my dad ended up getting diabetes. He had cancer. Um, so it was just like, you know, it, that really lit an awareness for me. And even though I've always been a small person, like, you know, when you don't have a lot of weight on you, people kind of overlook that, oh, you're healthy because you're small. And that's not the case. Like my dad was a small framed person. I have his body type, but my mom and my sisters are not. So in my mind, I always thought, you know what? My dad has diabetes. He got cancer and he's small framed. That can be me. So it's always been in my mind. And then on my mom's side of the family, also the, you know, high blood pressure, cancer, all kinds of various diseases. And so I feel like I've always been very conscious of that. But ironically, I'm the one sibling that did not go into the medical field. All my siblings are registered nurses. And they're the ones that are not as healthy as me because they're looking at medicine and prescriptions and those things kind of mask the problems. It's not getting to the root of the problem and it's not getting to where you're practicing prevention. And so my thing is I practice prevention and they think I'm crazy, but last year happened and then everyone's kind of like, well, okay, <laughs> what I'm doing makes more sense. You know, let me start implementing more of the things that I've been sharing over the past 10 years. So I think that consciousness led me to then I've always said fitness was my thing. I thought fitness was how I was going to stay healthy. So I was, uh, I played soccer in high school. I played intramural soccer in college. I kind of watched what I ate. I thought I ate healthy, <laughs> but in my mind, and this is how I can relate in my mind, eating healthy was eating at least 
three or four fruits and vegetables for the day. If I did that, I was like, oh, I did so good. I ate like a salad and then I had an apple. And then I came to find the education <laughs> through Juice Plus and they started to, you know, when I first attended an event and I learned the servings, which you just shared a little while ago, nine to 13 servings, that's for the average person. I am someone that worked out very hard in the gym and they say for athletes, you should be eating like a horse at a trough. So at least 16 to 18 servings of fruits and vegetables. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I don't get close to that. So, you know, it's good to move your body, but at the same time, you are stressing your body. You need to put back the things that, um, what do you call it? Neutralize the damage you're doing in your body. So I, I gravitated to the education. I said, oh my goodness, this is Fantastic. I, I wish I would have known this earlier. I, by, at the point where I learned this information, I had two kids, they were babies, one years old and three years old. And I wish I had used this before I had them <laughs> because maybe it would have um, circumvented some, uh, some issues they had as babies. Um, so really I looked at it because my son, I had a 14 month old child and he was a very picky eater and he was always sick. And um, Juice Plus just made sense. It was gummies. When they were introduced to it, they thought the gummies were like candy because they taste so delicious. And so at the time, the person who introduced who introduced that to me said, you know, I really like to help, you know, moms because I was a stay at home mom at the time. I, like I like Josephine mentioned, I was let go from my job. It was during the recession of 2008, which just reminds me of kind of what's happening right now a lot. And I feel that burden and that um, that pain that people are going through now, because I was that person back in 2008. Um, and then I was introduced to Juice Plus. No, I lost my job in 2010. And then I was introduced to Juice Plus in 2011. And it put me on this path. And I'm just like, you know, God knows all the things. He, he just has it all mapped out because I was going to a holistic pediatrician for three years who had Juice Plus all over, all over his office. He never had an opportunity to share what it was with me. And it wasn't until I met another mom and we were just talking because we went to the same university. We had this connection and she mentioned it. And I said, what is that stuff? I've seen it now for years and I don't know what it is. And I'm just so thankful to her that day that we met that she shared she gave me these gummies that me and my kids were like these are delicious how are they fruits and vegetables we we thought it was a I was like there's no way but um those gummies really changed my children's health <laughs> visibly my son like within yeah. two months he went from being the very pickiest eater to then venturing at 16 months old to pick up broccoli and eat it. He was eating broccoli, he was eating cabbage, like things he would never touch before. Um, he used to be sick all the time. And I know this because I am a fitness person, right? I was always at the gym, but I couldn't take him to the gym because he was always sick. And they were like, do not bring your sick kid to the daycare. So I used to remember he was sick at least three weeks out of every month. I would only get to go to the gym like once or twice during the month. So that changed, he now is, 11 years old, he's like my healthiest kid. Rarely anything happens to him. Like if he gets a sniffles, it's gone in like 24 hours or 48 hours, it does not last. Um, he's rarely ever sick. So it's just been amazing what's happened. And alongside with Juice Plus, we've been able to incorporate a lot of other things like eliminating um, a lot more dairy. We used to, I used to drink dairy milk. Now we drink plant-based milk. Um, there's just been little changes that have happened over these years that have gotten us on a better path to um, help. And I'm so thankful because then last year happened and, you know, I felt a little bit more secure in, in that the fact that we had this protective shield over our bodies with what we've been feeding it all these years. So um, it's been just a, an amazing thing. I, I, I'm, I really feel blessed that it was shared with me and here I am today <laughs> being able to share this with so many others and change their lives and also make an impact within my community and with women that are now able to share it within their communities of people and the stories that we get to hear. I know Josephine, you're like, the, the stories are priceless. Like 
there's sometimes I hear stories and I'm just like, oh my goodness, I was at my daughter's soccer game this morning and this mom who's on the team, she just started taking the omegas. And she said, I am so thankful that she just started literally like a week ago that I am taking these. She said, any other omega I ever took always made me feel really like, up, like her stomach upset. It would interfere with the other things she would take. And this is, has been the first omega she's taken and she feels really good. It has not upset her digestive system. And she's just like, I am totally sold on this because I've never had this reaction. I was, she was a little hesitant, you know, and now she's so grateful. But um, there's bigger stories than that. I mean, that's just a story of gratitude. I mean, stories of children that have diabetes that take Juice Plus and now their insulin levels at night are being reduced because their bodies are happening to do more of what it needs to do on its own. My dad was in his what, late seventies when he started taking Juice Plus and he was a diabetic. Um, and I attribute it helping him make it to C90. I mean, he passed away at the end of last year, but I really feel that it helped keep him here even longer and for us to have that time is priceless. So it's just been an amazing gift. And um, like Josephine, I feel like it just has to be shared with as many people as possible. Thank you so Thank much, you. Michelle. I mean, you've shared so many amazing nuggets, you know, as you were talking. And I was just writing a few notes here. And what it is, is really Juice Plus is a jumpstart to better health. It just helps you to change one simple change at a time, like Michelle was saying. I mean, I was not a big water drinker, but by being in this community and just getting the encouragement from I mean, it's a community that loves on you and you get to really support each other. You cheer each other along with small and big wins. So we have a group of us that do this shred, you know, every month together. So you just find that you're able to incorporate simple things into your lifestyle that eventually become part of your, your lifestyle, become a habit uh, that way. Just like Michelle, I mean, dairy products have gradually kind of reduced that in, we used to use regular milk. For two years now, there's no regular milk in my house, you know, and that's incredible as well. And Michelle, I mean, I, I watched you for the two years as you were sharing about your father's journey, and you can attest that as much as, of course, it does not cure diabetes, it definitely gives somebody a quality life for the time that they have. And I think that's a big thing, Michelle. Absolutely, like the quality of life. <laughs> I mean, he had all his senses at the end. I mean, it's, that is just incredible because I am seeing people that aren't getting this type of nutrition in their bodies, even with the things they're eating on a daily basis. And they're at a point now where, you know, Alzheimer's is sitting in dementia and, that's not the quality of life. I was just saying this with my cousin. I was just like, I don't want that quality of life as I get older. I want to, you know, grow old and hopefully go away peacefully in my sleep, right? That's how most of us would like to go and not have to spend my final years in and out of a doctor's office and with all these different um, diagnoses. Like, I don't wish that for anyone. And I, I was just telling my kids this yesterday. It was funny because I said, you, you know, the things you do now, you're investing into your future. So if you want to continue to eat like the candy and the cake, which those are occasional like celebratory foods. Yes, occasion. I love cake, but I'm not eating it every day. Like you have to be mindful of what you're doing now. And I feel like Juice Plus has been the one simple thing that I've added and I, you know, someone wrote in there, I think I saw it sounds like the Mediterranean diet. There's no one way <laughs> to be if you're incorporating more plant nutrition. So we have like, I am, I eat, I still eat meat. Um, I still eat a lot of different things, but I know I'm flooding my body with nutrition, but I am more mindful of eating more plants now more than ever, because just of the importance and finding I, what I love about this community they suggest so many different ways in which you can eat these plant foods that taste amazing, 
if it wasn't for that, I don't know. <laughs> but there's this, we have the, the cookbooks, we have um, groups where we share this information and I've just learned so much. And then doing the health, the certified um, health course, that helps even more because we show people examples of a complete meal that you can have that has your protein, your carbohydrates, you know, the difference between healthy carbohydrates and unhealthy and those type of things. Those are things that even if I wasn't sharing with others, wow, I'm so thankful. I know this information for me and my family, but there's no way I could keep this to myself because <laughs> I just can't. I just have to let people know. And thank you so much, Michelle. And you, when you shared about uh, having given your children the gummies, for those of you um, who are new on the call, I want you to know that when you get this for yourself as an adult, you actually get to sponsor a child for free. And it doesn't have to be your own child. You can pick a child that you know really needs, you know, a little more nutrition and you can be able to sponsor them. So we've been on this for three years. So guess what? Every time my shipment comes, David's shipment comes for free. And so now that he's doubling in college because he has to double on the omegas, he has to double on the berries. And that was the blessing that really supported his immune system and his quality of life. I mean, he's able to compete, you know, in college and not be at the doctor's office getting inhalers, you know. It's been a blessing, you know, every change of season, David was getting steroids to help with his lungs, but he doesn't have to for three years now. I have not called the pediatrician for those steroids, guys. So when you see me and Michelle out here on the social media streets, I'm telling you, God has blessed. And we just want to shout out and give him all the praise, all the glory, and um, be able to be a support system in our community. And this is, I mean, no offense. And uh, especially you realize uh, those of us, people of color, people like me, we are actually dying disproportionately. And I'm not saying Juice Plus is going to stop you from dying. Michelle just shared about the quality of life the father lived from 70 to 90 because of the Juice Plus. You know, you want to be able to prevent a lot of complications by flooding your body with good nutrition. Michelle got some tips on lean coaching, you know, add that exercise in there drink some more water you know there are ways we can find out i'm not a water drinker but i have to put lemon in my water that's how i drink it and then i have to make sure i have um more i carry two of this to work before i leave in the morning i've drunk two of this and then i carry two of them with me to to work so you gotta find something that works for you so that you can um support yourself uh in the health and guys it's been a pleasure. Um, let me see something here. Um, Michelle, did you have any parting shots, something you want to share um, to encourage our guests before you sure. finish? Yeah, I usually so share a video, but I think you've shared a lot of good details and I'm not going to labor it by sharing a video again. So I will let you just uh, close it out. Okay. So for me, I know that we, sh me and Josephine probably both shared a lot if you're someone new to this kind of lifestyle. So what I would suggest, and I always suggest even to my clients, is just incorporate one simple change, one simple change at a time. Do not overwhelm yourself with trying to do too many things all at once. Incorporate one thing. And the one thing I know I incorporated in our change was Juice Plus. That was what, 10 years ago. And that has led to so many other changes that I am honestly a totally different person today than I was 10 years ago because of that. So start with one thing, you know, maybe it's drinking more water, being really mindful of that. Maybe it's incorporating one extra vegetable or one extra fruit, whatever that thing is, and then you're add on to it. And it's like a domino effect. So if you want the simplest change out there that I know is the best way to, to get started, I would add Juice Plus, honestly. Whether it's the fruits and the vegetables or the berries or the omegas, add something because that is going to put you on a path to wanting to do more. It really does. So um, thank you for having me, Josephine. I, I feel so like 
<laughs> I feel so blessed to be even asked. I was like, sure, I'll do that with you. So thank you for having me. And it really was a joy to share here to, today. And that's the beauty of this community we are in. I mean, it's just the emotional revenue and the support is incredible. We are like sisters and brothers on the same mission. Michelle is not even in my team. I'm not in her team, but we are all one team on one mission. We have no competition, but we have the support of each other. And so with that being said, so I have three things for you before you leave the call. So for whoever that invited you, get together with them. And what we're talking about uh, guys here, it's literally fruits and vegetables. They're organically grown and the juice blended together, you know, pulp, skin, seed and all. I don't know how many of you eat lemon peel. I know I don't, but that's where a lot of nutrition is, the vitamin C. So all this is blended together and put in a capsule or a chewable. So if you're here today and you're wondering, so they've talked about all this, what is this about? You know, get the person that invited you, get some more information. I'm available. We can get on a three-way call, share more information. But most importantly, you know, you can either choose to buy it for yourself or you can choose to join us as a community and start sharing with others. We need more boots on the ground because we need more people to enjoy healthy, fulfilling lives, have a life of abundance. So there are all those options. Or you can just share with somebody and let them know that we're here on Sundays and we have many other calls. On Saturday nights, we were hanging out again yesterday talking about tower gardens. That's another thing we didn't mention. You can grow your own produce and uh, if you hang around, I'll show you my tower garden that is right here in my dining room area. And uh, so you can have one, you can grow your own, you can have the juice plus, you can join us and let's share this mission with the others. So with that being said, I wanna say thank you all for being here today. And I'm gonna stop this recording really quick. How do I do that?